Okay, welcome back. Now, I want to be quick with this one today. I do not want to be wasting your time. So this is going to be a Maestro Sniper Bot setup on how to get yourself started with Maestro setting up wallets, buy settings and sell settings. And that is it. It's just going to be enough for you to start your trading journey through Maestro. I've already done one of these videos before around a year ago now, and uh, it's actually one of the most popular videos on the channel, but it was about 30 minutes long. Um, it was quite an in-depth guide. So I want to try and break that down into a little bit more easier, digestible chunks for you. So let's get into it. So welcome back, everybody. I am Ali. This is the Simply Blockchain channel. Welcome if you are new and welcome back if you are not new. And today we're talking about Maestro. So what we're going to do is head to the link in the description and that's going to take you to Maestro. And as you can see here, we are in Maestro. Now, if this is the very first time you are clicking on this, um, you're going to want to click on start. Now, it's going to give you a window like this, but it's also going to give you a window to say, hey, we want you to join three different groups or channels. So go ahead and join them. Um, they're basically just an introduction just to help you uh, with their support and a few other things like their notifications channels. So you can you can be notified when they uh, do updates and stuff like that. So once you've done that, click start again, and it's going to give you a welcome to Maestro button here. Um, so this notification is basically the hub. This is the start menu. So as you can see here, if we click on chains, they support an awful lot of chains, guys, which is why I love using Maestro because I don't have to keep flipping around from different bot to bot. They're very good at just being consistent. They're good at, they're good at everything, really. Um, they're not the fastest bot out there. You're not going to be breaking lightning speeds, getting in early, um, unless you bump your gas fees up, but they are very good at just being consistently good bots to use. You don't have to keep flicking around from one bot to another, depending on what chain you're using. So in this video today, I'm going to go over the Solana setup, uh, but I will briefly touch on BSC as well, because obviously at the minute, uh, BNB is at a new all time high. And I've got a feeling that Binance Smart Chain meme coins um, are going to start running soon. So we'll give you a little setup on those as well. So Come over to wallets, click wallets. Now, depending on what chain you're using, you can use any chain, it doesn't matter. AVAX, SOL, BSC, Ethereum, uh, TRX, TON, it, it doesn't matter. They, they cover them all. So we'll click on Solana. And then what we're going to do, we're going to click generate wallet. Now, you can import a wallet. If you've already got Phantom and you already have a wallet, then you can import the private key into Maestro. I like to keep them separate. I like to have a main wallet on Phantom that I do not connect to anything. And then I also like to have individual uh, individual wallets for these different trading bots. It just means that my funds are safe. I, you know, if one bot gets compromised, it's not gonna wipe out my main portfolio. So what we'll do, we'll just generate a wallet. You give it a name, um, hello. It's gonna give you the address, the private key, and then your your seed phrase or your, your your words. So keep the keep the private key safe. Keep your words safe. Do not give them to anyone. Do not share them with anyone. That goes without saying. But if you are brand new, then this phrase here and these words will allow anyone access to your wallet. It's like the pin for your bank. Just don't give it to anyone. Okay. Now, when you are coming to fund the wallet, you are going to want to send Solana in our case to this wallet address here. And uh, that will then fund that wallet. Now, what I would do is I would just, if you have created a new wallet, just take the private key, go over to Phantom, download the app if you haven't already got it, and just copy and paste that into Phantom. And it's going to allow you access to this wallet through Phantom. It's a better UI. It's cleaner. It's just a lot easier for me, especially just to send and receive funds through Phantom. So once we've got that set up, obviously you can do this exactly the same with ETH, with BNB, with all the other chains, AVAX. Um, so that's that's our chains and our wallets covered. Global settings, we'll click on global settings quickly and we'll just cover Solana. Anti-MEV, keep on. It's not worth being MEV attacked. It's just, you just don't want to do it. Um, initials, in, initial includes fees if i can get my words out correctly so what this is going to do if you've bought like a dollar of a token and you've bought that and you've spent five dollars on that transaction when you've bought the token um, it's going to show your initial investment as six dollars okay so you need a you need a 5x on that token to be able to break even um so 
that is basically what that means so i keep that on because it's just nice to see exactly what i've spent on that transaction and that whole process rather than just seeing what i've only bought in tokens um dj mode i leave off it just takes off for safety procedures like anti-mev certain things like that um it's just not worth it in my opinion unless you're like buying extremely extremely early and you're sniping tokens uh if you're just generally trading you won't need this on um buy settings if you click on the buy button confirm manual buy now what this is going to do is when you buy a token when you paste a token address into maestro you're going to get a uh, pop up if this is on and it's going to ask you if you're sure you want to buy the token for that amount of money now what this is going to do is going to stop fat fingers you know if you've accidentally pressed the button or you've accidentally maybe you only wanted to buy 0.1 soul and you click one soul instead i've done that before i've done it with ethereum where i've bought an, uh, one eth of a token and i completely didn't mean to do it um so that would have been handy in that case. Um, I leave this off, even though I've had bad experiences before, but it's entirely up to you whether you, you know, you're a bit clumsy or you want to just make sure that you are definitely making the right decisions. Um, gas Delta, this is how much of uh, gas you're willing to spend on that transaction. Now, I don't typically change this or price impact or slippage, to be honest. These are all pretty generic. Um, if I am buying something with high volatility or high volume, then you might find that the transaction fails. Then just come back to this window and then you just want to up your gas delta or up your slippage slightly. Um, but for general general trading, if I've been looking at a token and I'm looking to accumulate a token, then the volume might not be that great anyway. So I will just leave these as they are. Um, allow auto buy now what this is do what this is going to do is if you paste a contract address in the window of maestro um, and press enter it will automatically buy the token for you so you can either have this on or off it's up to you if you want to completely circumvent all the manual buying so you decide how much you want to spend we will set this up later um, duplicate buys so this will basically allow you to buy the same token again if you want to um, We'll just leave all of this off. I'm just running through the settings so you know what to look for. Uh, auto buy checks. Now, obviously, this is up to you. Um, if you've got auto buy on, you can go to the settings here and you can choose market cap thresholds, liquidity thresholds. So if you're not comfortable with buying a token under $50,000 market cap, for example, you can set that up here under minimum. Okay. And then it won't, if you accidentally paste the contract address in here that's at like 5K market cap, then the bot will not buy it for you. So what we'll do, we'll just head on back and we'll just quickly cover the sell settings here. Again, it's pretty much exactly the same, guys. Uh, P&L cards, uh, confirm manual sell, it's exactly the same as the buy. Gas delta, exactly the same as the buy. I normally leave all this alone. I don't really typically touch this. Um, so the PL cards, once you've made a sell or you've sold your entire position, it can generate you a PL card. So if you click this to green, it will automatically generate you that card. Duration, it will tell you how long you were in that trade for. Um, and investment and payout. So if you do not want, if you want to be sharing your, you know, your 10x with someone or your 100x with someone, but you don't want them to know how much you spent and how much you've withdrawn from that token, then you just keep this as red. Uh, again, auto sell on manual buy. I'll leave this off. I don't typically touch this, guys. So that is the general startup and setup of wallets. So we've got a wallet set up. We've sent Solana to that wallet. We've gone through a few buying and selling settings so you know what to look for and what to, what to how to change those settings. Um, obviously, we've got signals, copy trade, pre-sales, auto snipe. There's a whole lot you can do in my show, guys. Um, I've got a few other videos on the channel, but like I said, I really wanted to keep this brief just to give you a little insight on how it works, how to set things up, because I know that sometimes when you go into these bots for the first time, they can be awfully scary and basically it can be a little bit overwhelming. But if you just break it down into small chunks, you're not going to break anything. You know, if you don't put your money into this straight away and you just want to play around with it a little bit, this is perfect. You know, you just sit on it for a little bit, piss around with it, have fun with it, understand the settings. I've got a bunch more Maestro videos on the channel. Have a little look through them and see what you think. But for guys, but for that, I'm done, guys, here. This was a really quick one. I don't normally do the videos this quickly, but I wanted to just 
get this out there because the UI has changed and I know that a lot of people were looking for an updated version of this. So if you could guys please like and subscribe to the channel, I would really appreciate that. And um, I think that's it guys. That's me done. I'll see you later. Bye.